Here I will do another example about the singular value decomposition. So let's say I have the matrix 1, 3, 2, 6. Uh, and I want to find the singular value decomposition of that matrix. So first I will find the eigenvalues of uh, can use B transpose B or B B transpose. Uh, doesn't change anything. I will choose B transpose B. So we'll find that B transpose B minus lambda I is equal to zero. And so if I solve that, I will get that 10 minus lambda times 40 minus lambda minus sorry minus 400 um, is equal to zero and so I will get that lambda times lambda minus 50 is equal to zero okay uh, so lambda 1 will be 50 and lambda 2 will be 0 okay uh, and so uh, here I choose B transpose B so uh, so I can find the vectors of V not U so I will find that V1 uh, if I find the eigenvectors of B transpose B, which will be the vectors of the matrix V, I will find that V1 is equal to 1 over square root of 5 times 1, 2, and V2 is equal to 1 over square root of 5 times negative 2, 1. Okay, so you just need to find the eigenvalues, and then the eigenvectors of B transpose B or B B transpose. For B, if you find the eigenvectors of B transpose B, it will be the vectors of the matrix V. And if you find the eigenvectors of B B transpose, you'll find the vectors of U. Okay? Uh, um, so here I think we can quickly find we can quickly find the vectors of B B transpose. We could use the relation uh, U i equals one over sigma i times the matrix B times the vectors V i. But here we'll do it the other way. Uh, if you do it, uh, you will find that U one is equal to one over square root of ten times one three and u two is equal to one over square root of ten times negative three one okay and here uh our original matrix is a two by two matrix so uh, our sigma will be a two by two of of size 2 by 2 and its entries will be square root of 50 0 0 0 okay and so our matrix U ha contains two vectors and our matrix V also contains two vectors okay um, and so our matrix U will be 1 over square root of 10 times 1, 3, negative 3, 1. And V will be 1 over square root of 5 times 1, 2, negative 2, 1. Okay. Uh, and so you find your singular value decomposition. Uh, you can transpose V, uh, you know sigma, you know U, and yeah. 
Uh, and I just want to do another example. Uh, it seems tricky, but it's not that hard. Uh, it's really, really simple, in fact. Uh, your matrix C is a rotation matrix cosine of phi 0 sine of phi 1 0 0 minus sine of phi 0 and cosine of phi. Let's say that that's, that is your matrix. Uh, and you want to find a singular value decomposition. How do you proceed? Well, in fact, it's not that hard. Because um, this matrix here is orthogonal. Okay? Uh, so what did that, does that mean? It means that C, uh, the transpose of the matrix, if a matrix is orthogonal, its transpose is its inverse. So if you take C transpose C, it's equal to C, C transpose, and you get the identity matrix. Okay? Uh, so if you search for the eigenvalues of C transpose C or C, C transpose, uh, you will in fact search for the eigenvalues of the identity matrix which are all ones. Uh, so, so your eigenvalues will be one. Uh, and so the square root of one is one, so your singular values will also be one. And so your matrix sigma will be the identity matrix. Okay? And uh, Basically, um, your matrix U uh, you can either choose your matrix U, U to be equal to your matrix C and your matrix V to be equal to the identity matrix or you can choose U to be the identity matrix and V equal to C transpose. Okay, uh, you can choose it. Uh, and so that will be your singular value decomposition, okay? So because our original matrix is, is orthogonal, C transpose C or C, C transpose gives you the identity matrix. So the eigenvalues, the eigenvalues are one, the singular values are also one. So sigma is the identity matrix and then you can choose your matrix U and C. Uh, one of them has to be the identity matrix and the other one your original matrix or it's transpose, okay? So, not that complicated, don't be too afraid. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.